Let's move to our third introductory issue, and it has to do with the date of the book. What's the date of the composition of the book? And it has to be before AD 95, because Clement of Rome in AD 95 quoted from the book of Hebrews. You can't quote from a book unless a book exists. So it had to exist at least prior to AD 95. I think it had to exist prior to AD 70, because it indicates that the temple system was functioning. And we know that the temple was destroyed by the Romans in AD 70. And there's a tremendous temptation by the audience to return to the temple ritual, animal sacrificial system, a temptation that's impossible if Rome had already destroyed that system. So as you go through the book, it seems to refer to the temple system and the Aaronic system and the sacrificial system still functioning. Uh, And we know it stopped functioning in AD 70. So the book must have been written before the temple system was destroyed by Rome in AD 70. Now here's a few verses that you can jot down to see that yes, it looks like the temple was up and running and its system at the time the book was written. Hebrews 8 verse 4, I've got them there on the screen. Hebrews 8 verse 13, Hebrews 9 verse 6, Hebrews 10 verses 1 and 2, and Hebrews 13 verse 10. Uh, All scriptures indicating that the temple system was functioning, which means that the book was written before that temple was destroyed in AD 70. Um, It also probably was written before AD 64 because AD 64 brought in that terrible Roman persecution where many, many Christians were martyred. And Hebrews 12 verse 4 says something very interesting. It says, you have not resisted to the point of shedding blood in your striving against sin. Well, I'm here to tell you that when the Neronian persecution happened, there was plenty of shedding of blood. And this indicates that the audience members of the audience had not yet had their blood shed. So it seems like it was written before the Neronian persecution began, and most date that persecution around AD 64, which pushes the date even earlier. So it was before AD 95, it was before AD 70, it was before written before AD 64, But at the same time, you cannot push the date too early because what we're dealing with here is um, second-generation Christians. So this is not first-generation Christians. This is second-generation Christians, which doesn't really allow us to push the date prior to AD 62. So if I was pushed on the subject, I would say the date of this book would be about AD 62 to 64 as to when this book was actually written.